What is going on everyone? This is Toontown Lego Master today. Just bringing you guys a little video here on um, Qualcomm Quick Charge 2.0 technology. I know there's 3.0 out, but this is still pretty fast charger. Uh, they're not really that different. 3.0 and 2.0 really aren't that different. But we're going to do a little test here because I, like, I don't really understand what's the point of even getting 3.0. If many people have claimed that, you know, within 30 minutes you get a 50% charge, dude, quick charge 2.0, I get 50% in about 30 minutes also. So why should I buy a quick charge 3.0? You know, it just doesn't make sense. Like maybe it might be a little bit better on a quick charge 2.0 phone. But I mean, if a quick charge 3.0 phone already gets to 50% 30 minutes like quick charge 2.0 on a 2.0 device then what's the point and I mean on the Galaxy S6 that I'm recording with right now I can get like I think an hour and 20 minutes a hundred percent that's how fast it would take for the the phone to get to a hundred percent is an hour and 20 minutes so what we're gonna do is right now it is 2.52 p.m. and um, we're gonna this phone's like at zero percent it just turned on right now okay so it's at like zero percent or one percent i guess it just dies to save its battery and we're gonna see how long it takes for this phone to get to a hundred percent and uh maybe we'll even check in and see how long it'll take in 30 percent to see if i'm actually correct with the whole um 50 percent 30 minutes which is kind of worth it especially like if you're about to go to school or go to work and you forgot to charge your phone and it takes you at least 30 minutes to get ready, you leave your house and it's at 50% and that literally can get you through the day. At least this phone can do that. So we're going to go and test that out. So see you in 30 minutes. Okay, so it's exactly 30 minutes. I actually start at 253 instead of 252. And we're at... 42% so for some reason and I have no idea what that is that must be like a sensor I've never it's only seen on camera whoa what is that I don't know what that is you can't see that with your eye but only through the camera but anyways uh, I guess I was wrong it's not 50% uh, at exactly 30 minutes I guess it's gonna get to 50% and maybe like 10 more 15 more minutes so even that is kind of a lie, and I don't know if it's just because I'm using a different brand of a charger for quick charge 2.0. This is a Tenergy, and we're charging an HTC M8, and this one charges not really that fast. But um, yeah, we're at 42%, so I will come back when it's at exactly 50%, and even this time right here is pretty wrong too. I don't think it's going to be charged in 40 more minutes. It may take one hour, I guess. But yeah, we'll, we'll come back when it's 100% also at the end. So just stay tuned. What is going on, everyone? So um, we're at 52%. Um, and that literally took like 37 or 38 minutes or maybe even like 35 minutes or 36 minutes, I think. Somewhere around there like 10 minutes after 30 minutes so around around 40 minutes i would say maybe 35 37 minutes to get to 50 percent because i came back and it was at 52 percent so we're going to continue our test and to see if quick charge 2.0 was even worth it and even uh it's telling the truth when it comes to uh if it can really charge within 30 minutes and 50 percent uh, it's a 50 percent or 100 percent an hour or whatever which probably isn't the case so yeah at least from what we're seeing so far okay so now we're at approximately an hour and seven minutes and we're at 70 76 percent so maybe in approximately 20 minutes as it's saying it'll probably be at 100 percent and so far kind of like a misconception you think you're gonna get a hundred percent in 30 minutes but really it takes a little bit longer than that but still slightly faster than 
normal chargers that aren't Qualcomm. So we'll come back once it's 100%. But for right now, hour and seven minutes or whatever. And it's at 77. Okay, see you guys then. Okay, so we're coming to the end of this video pretty much. I'm not going to record once it gets to 100% because I'm just so disappointed at this point. So it's taken approximately about two hours and maybe like 13, 15 minutes to get to 100%, which is pretty disappointing. I'm pretty sure this phone that I'm recording with right now, the Galaxy S6, can get to... 100% in an hour, but we'll have to see that in another video because I just haven't really tested it. That's just estimates from my head pretty much. And I always knew that this phone took such a long time to charge, even with Quick Charge 2.0. So is it worth it? Um, I don't know. I don't think so, no. It's not. It's not worth it at all. It's only worth it if you need 50% in 30 or like 40 minutes which is, uh, I just saw a video before making this conclusion, and yeah, they promise, uh, let me get a focus, 40 minutes in, 40 minutes, you get 50% charge, which is great, that's awesome, because that means you can go through the day, uh, and I'm not, I'm not talking about like 24 hours or anything, but I'm talking about more like, you know, just your, your normal work day, or, just like a uh, school day or something like that. I can get you through that, but not 24 hours, of course. But yeah, so it is kind of worth it if you want that quickness from 0 to 50%. If you wake up in the morning and your phone's dead because you didn't feel like charging it the night before, yes, it's worth it. At least for the HTC M8 and some phones that perform just like this. don't know what other phones perform like this. Not even sure if it's just a phone or if it's just a, this this thing that's stupid and doesn't charge really fast. Because if you think you could charge to 50% in 40 minutes, wouldn't it only take an hour and 20, hour 30 minutes to get to 100%? And that's not the case with this phone at least. So we will be testing the S6 in another video and I'll probably do a comparison with the M8 versus the S6. So I, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I might leave a link in the description for this charger if you want to check it out, or you can just Google it. It's a Tenergy 2.0, Quick Charge 2.0. It's only like 10 bucks off of eBay. It's a pretty good charger. It comes with like a 6-foot wire, and that's cool and all, but that's one of the reasons why I didn't want to make a review on this charger is because of these results. When I first got it, and I just thought, okay, maybe that's just from the first charge, you know, maybe it'll, it'll sit in. And Of course, from now, it's still does the same exact thing, two hours of charge time, which is basically the same amount of time with a basic charger, and maybe even longer with a basic charger. I don't know how long it takes to charge this phone normally, but I'm pretty sure it took at least two hours with my other charger, so it's not really worth it for full charge, but it is worth it for 50% and 40 minutes, like I said before. So, again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, and see you guys in the next one.